Hi guys, welcome to another ride. Uh, today we are going Navi Mumbai towards Khar. Uh, there is one Vipassana center which I always wanted to visit once. And yeah, the weather looks fine today. From morning there was not a single drop of rain. Also, I did a little bit of washing for my bike yesterday. I wanted to go yesterday but I had some classes so couldn't attend. So today ultimately I left around 3.30 and uh, expecting sunset there so I timed myself in that way also expecting some less traffic for the Sunday and yeah that's how I planned my this weekend Also like before taking my long ride I wanted to take one 50 km ride just to check how the braking is functioning right now. If there is any service needed for the brakes then I will get it done and after my this ride. I'm a little bit not so confident for my left brake. It has a braking but it makes some sort of sound. So last time it was like a minor repair work done but that's not the full solution. So I think it has to be like thoroughly looked into. And today in this route we will find a lot of Ganpati. Just a few days away from Ganesha Turti. Let's see if I can capture it. Also, I'm thinking of visiting Khargar Hill. I always wanted to visit that hill and get a view of the city. Uh, hopefully, they allow at this time. But it will be like the first time going, so it be an experience for me. Just 14 kilometers away, and uh, so far the winds are blowing nice, so we should be comfortable reaching there. I thought 
thought I will be reaching late, but the traffic was favorable today. So the spy shops of the new Himalayan 450 is already available. Also the Also, the teaser has been released uh, by the Royal Enfield owner himself. Uh, so I, so I think I should give name to the original one, and I think the classic Himalayan name suits it. So maybe I will be calling this bike always as a classic Himalayan the GPS always says me to take this left but I never take it I always take the straight route don't know why so looking at the new Himalayan 450 the initial designs are like a proper off-roader the current uh, classic Himalayan it has a look of a tourer and off-roader it is like setting in between and uh, even look wise this looks pure classic it doesn't look like the modern GS1250 or the tram this has a better look in terms of classical looks it has all the bits and pieces put together well even the placement of the engine an upright engine uh, it looks quite retro whereas if you see the new Himalayan spy shorts it has a little inclined engine head also uh, looks like it might be having a completely oil cool engine so that fins were not visible that much like an aim towards a very futuristic person who is like not looking towards that retro feel of a bike but a pure machine also the suspension are like totally modern type uh, I think it was looking similar to the Kawasaki Oasis has that uh, river back suspension totally exposed in the current Himalayan the rear suspension is not that exposed it also sits in a very straight position sort of but in the new one it is totally like in a slanting steep side like on 300 meters I have to take left it says Belapur I think I will follow this time this route because I always take that one Sixty meters. I 
if you go straight it will go to Washi from down it goes to Pune so we almost reached and uh, the weather here looks fine I had almost no traffic the whole route one or two signals that was right there even here the signal is open I have to take the turn carefully but so that is a dummy traffic to this not the regular one but nice they have it at least so coming to this area for the first time almost near to D.Y. Patel Stadium Here also a small health line to go to the top But I wanted to see it from bottom itself I don't know Let's see Looks like a residential corner also. Mm -hmm. Is this the town? I think from a hill view. I think this one should be it But where is the temple? They have decorated this place nice And there is a Mercedes setting straight facing me two days ago I was watching Chennai Express and there was a scene where is the temple that same situation is with me now I'm looking at my left where is the temple it's not visible so I have to climb up to see where is the temple the GPS says I am almost reached you can see the marker there kilometers almost and where is the temple was it supposed to take that right no but here yeah, it looks wow just look at these trees falling over each other and the road is also like taking a curve and going up I'm on my third gear the engine is making a nice duk 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 sound the perfect long stroke engine a perfect sound there are people here who came to visit on Sunday uh -huh. I think I made the right decision coming here today But I won't be spending a lot of time here I will make sure I go to car also and have a view from there Oh wow 
ऑब्वियसली आई ऑलवेज एंजॉय द टर्न एट द लोनावला घाट रिगार्डिंग माई द लॉन्ग ड्राइव टूवर्ड्स पंडरपुर आई हेव ऑलमोस्ट केप माई सेल्फ प्रिपेयर आई एम जस्ट वेटिंग फॉर द राइट मोमेंट एंड ऑल्सो हैव टू थिंक ऑफ एन हॉलीडे फ्रॉम ऑफिस सी द व्यू सो वेर इज द टेम्पल I think it should be somewhere here. The Mahavi Pula Vipassana Center goes straight, and there is Mayor's Bungalow. So where is the temple? Where is the temple? Street, 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 street. You can see the temple. People have parked the bikes here. Let me have a tour of it, and then I will come. But yeah, if you can see that. How well they have decorated it. Just go little up and see if I get a good view. But here is a dead end. Let me go and ask if it is open for public. And there is a radar. This bike has many colors, and they all look amazing. A 125 cc with mono shock suspension. What more you need? This is the view from the top uh, inside the Vipassana Center. 
we are not allowed to film anything and it was quite restricted so i just came out from there i spent there few minutes for you and someone told me to go up you can see the highway and the view from the top of the city so yeah here we are and also that looks pretty neat and this was the comfort mode which i was talking about i'm riding i can shift to my leg here when i'm on the long streets mm, also there is one temple at top ahead of the upasana center so you can also come and visit here This was the view from here, and now we should be heading back to Kharkar. So the GPS is taking me from some inside routes because connecting to the highway directly is not allowed here. Let's see where it takes me. People have come here for picnic spot. We spend some time. So maybe from here I might connect to the other side of the highway. This is a this is a small hill where you are just going zigzag to connect to the main road. And you can see the town and the view there. Touring Maharashtra at this time is the best time because you will find the fields green and all the majority of the mountains covered with greenery. Also, you feel a lot fresh. Okay, so I should be connecting the highway. I should get a good view from there. So it is saying me to take left. Okay. From there, I think it might connect somewhere. So the Kargar hill is closed due to monsoon season, they only allow it after the monsoons are over. Uh, but the security guard told me there is a nearby place just 5 kilometers where we have a good view. So now right now I am heading there, plotted the place. So 
this is the hill which I was planning to go but right now it's closed so after a few months maybe I will be going there and also the Vipassana center here does not have a bookshop so if you are planning to buy anything from here you won't get it uh, this center is only for the people who have taken admission Crossing such roads is not a problem thanks to this big suspension. And there's almost sunset time. Hopefully I reach this location before that. to go straight Way to practice range. I think there is a golf course here. The map also says we have a golf course next. So covering one kilometer in two minutes. right we have the central park golf course this is the Khargar golf course and there is a waterfall they were seeing but where is it okay I can see it there it
what if destination doesn't allow you one location it gives you another location and this is it you can see the sky beautiful clouds the sunset about to happen behind the mountain and a good place to take some photos did the rickshaw went up there is there any route if it is there i would like to explore it be careful i'm not with my right shoes but yeah let's try to cross this one and go at the top not top but let's see how far this machine goes i'm pretty sure it will go a little bit more up this will be a perfect place to get a photo mm -hmm. should i wait for the sunset or should i go a little more ahead Should be fine. 
supposed to go another another hill but uh, that was closed due to monsoon works and it was risky there so the officials have closed it so this is a nearby another hill at kargar uh, located near kargar gurudwara and yeah it's a nice slightly cloudy weather you can see the side also and let me give you a good view of the hill anywhere you go anywhere you go give it up anywhere you say anywhere you say it's quite sunny so i just came this side and yeah we got a little bit of off road and stuff here uh, i think it might have rained last night so the water is still collected in this area but yeah it's nice there's also like sort of cold wind blowing I think you can spot the aircraft. It is going to disappear behind the cloud. And we should go right now. Oh no, it's coming from that way. Let it disappear behind the mountain. Oh, it's going to go and hit the tree. Yes, it did. So, this was a short ride and uh, finally ended up landing in a beautiful place. So do like the video and hit the subscribe button more rides will be coming up next and uh, yeah ride safe take care keep visiting places that's the best and enjoy the monsoon season soon the winter will follow see you on long rides now. bye